Yes. I'm saying that Kenyans have been through a struggle. A long, a lengthy struggle to improve conditions of living in our country. We had fallen so low into a dictatorship. Kenyans were being arrested and detained without trial for a long time. Kenyans were being clobbered by police. Being arrested, blindfolded, taken up to my house, dropped from, from the third floor onto the streets to their death, and then they would say that you committed suicide. People could never dream of to carry out any kind of demonstrations. It was outlawed, the demonstrations. But we demonstrated, and eventually, after very heavy price paid by the people of Kenya, we got a new constitution. That new constitution has been built as one of the best constitutions in the world in terms of human rights provisions section of that constitution. The constitution that guarantees the right to do what you want to do, the right to picket, the right to petition, the right to demonstrate. It's all enshrined in the constitution. If there is something that you don't like, you have a right to demonstrate. People are demonstrating all over the world. They're demonstrating in France. They're demonstrating in Israel. They're demonstrating in Australia. They've been demonstrating in Senegal. Yet in Kenya, somebody proposed to criminalize demonstrations. That is, demonstrators are going to destroy properties of other Kenyans. They were saying they are going to point and destroy property of other Kenyans. You ask yourself, what properties do you destroy in Yalenda? What properties do you destroy in Kibera? What properties are you destroying in Madari? Which properties are you destroying in Sondu? Which properties are you destroying in Migori? These are basically excuses to kill Kenyans in cold blood. And you must say no. Somebody goes and then prides himself, places the policeman when he's talking to another part of the country, spewing political propaganda. That, oh, Mr. Akalian Gumu, Mr. Akalian Gumu, he, Hazanona, Otaniona, Mr. Akanyaga, Tibu Akanyaga. Because you've killed innocent people, you're going, you're going to shout. At the top of your voice in another part of the country and you are purporting to be a leader of a country. Every life must, must count. And then you have to saying, oh, my, my next responsibility is to take Raila to Bondo. Raila knows how to get to Bondo. 
I don't know the religion of Tekwiti Bond. But what is done is criminal. These people's hands are full of the blood of innocent Kenyans. Innocent Kenyans. And that is why we are all very emotional about this. And this is not something that should be allowed to pass away.